Tyler Perry was watching uh, this show on Discovery ID, and he saw this story uh, about a case out of Florida where two men, two men have been missing for more than 15 years. Felipe Santos and Terrence Williams were both last seen alive in, in the company of former deputy Stephen Calkins. Now, Perry saw the case and said, wait a minute, something's going on here. So he offered $100,000. He offered $100,000 for information dealing with the case. Santos and Williams had never been found. In fact, the deputy has refused to even participate in the grand jury. He's no longer on the police force. Now in Florida, a person is presumed dead uh, after five years. And so what Tyler Perry did, he called up Ben Crump and said, I want you to file a civil lawsuit against this uh, cops, we can get to the truth of what happened because here's the piece. The, this former sheriff, has, deputy sheriff, has refused to participate in the grand jury hearing, but he can't ignore testifying in a civil case. Yeah. This morning, Tyler Perry was on Good Morning America. This is what he had to say. You and, and, and so many others feel that these kinds of cases do not get the national attention that they so richly deserve. And you were brilliant in your press conference yesterday uh, when you were talking about this is not a black and white issue. Can you just expound on that? Yeah, well, just where we are in this country, it's just everything has become about race or party or, or separation. This is not a black or white issue. This is not a police versus us issue. This is this is about just justice. And what I was saying yesterday is just that I, I don't care who you are. You know, there are there are deputies, at, and I hate getting into black and white, but there are mm -hmm. deputies down in, in Collier County who are white, who are just as interested in seeking justice as we are. Monica, who runs uh, Q, Q for Missing Persons, she's a white woman. She's just as interested in seeing uh, justice as we are and the thing about this is and during slavery when pe when slaves were trying to escape there were white people that helped them during the civil rights movement there were white people that helped and marched alongside of us so i just want us to get away from everything being black and white and come together and stand for what is wrong and this is wrong this is in stand against what is wrong and this is wrong this is injustice folks joining us right now is attorney ben crump ben how you doing I'm good, Roland. How you doing, brother? Uh, glad, glad to talk to you. We chatted this morning. Uh, and so I didn't even realize what Tyler was involved in this. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, we were texting back and forth, uh, and he sent me a text, and he said, I'm down here in Florida. Man, I'm with Ben Crump. He said, we need some attention for this story. I said, not a problem. That's when I called you, put you on Tom Joyner this morning, now having you on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Uh, this is an unbelievable case. For, for the audience out there who didn't see the interview on Good Morning America, didn't hear on Tom Joyner, I mean, tell them about this, this officer, this former deputy sheriff, who has had no regard for the lives or, and the whereabouts of these two men who he was last seen with. Absolutely. And, and Roland, this profound on many levels because this not only touches on the families of uh, Mark, uh, Marcia Williams, and it's also Felipe Santos and so many other black people who are missing, who nobody's covering. Tyler, when he and Marcia Williams called me, he said, you know, then when there's a tragic killing and rightfully so, like Trayvon or Michael Brown, everybody is giving it attention. But when one of our loved ones go missing, the press, mainstream media, nobody says a word, and these families are often all alone. And then he began to tell me about Marcel Williams, uh, son, Terrence Williams, who was last seen in the custody of this then Collier County Sheriff's Deputy, Stephen Calkins. And he has so many inconsistencies in his story. At first he said he had never met Terrence Williams. The car was abandoned and he called it in. But then they had him on the uh, communication saying, I have uh, this background check I want on Terrence Williams gave his birthday and his social security number. So if he had never met Terrence, how would he know his birthday and social security number? So it's those kind of inconsistencies. And the fact, even though he was uh, fired, he was never charged and arrested. So he sleeps in his bed peacefully every night while the Santos family and the Williams family get no sleep. And on top of all of that, you know, he comes up with this convenient excuse that he dropped them off at the Circle K uh, gas station. They had surveillance on the Circle K at the time. He said they dropped them off on the video. They didn't see Terrence Williams three months earlier when... Uh
Santos went missing. They didn't see him. So, Roland, none of it adds up. But the prosecutors uh, find it hard to prosecute somebody right. for murder if there's no body. So when Tyler asked me, what could we do, Ben Crump, I came up and said, we could file a civil lawsuit. Now, there's no guarantee we'll get a criminal conviction, but we will get a verdict in the court of law to give these families the answers they so richly deserve. And even though, like you said, he didn't testify in the grand jury proceeding, we're going to subpoena him to give a deposition, and he has to come, or there's going to be a one out for his arrest for contempt of court. And he may take the Fifth Amendment, but we will have him on video trying to explain all these inconsistencies. And we've already built our case. We know that there's enough evidence to go to a jury and get a verdict for these families. Got a question here for Scott Bolden. Hey, Ben Crump. Uh, hey. hey, Scott Bolden my here. Man. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you answered my question because I said we may never hear the truth from this officer or these officers because they would invoke the fifth. But I, I do think that suing them across the board, as well as their departments, if the statute of limitations hasn't run, is the right way to go. That in many of these cases, civil justice works better than the criminal justice system. What do you think? You're absolutely right, Scott. And as a great lawyer yourself, you know that there's no statute of limitation on an intentional act that leads to someone's murder. So that's why right. 14 years later we can bring them in court after the presumption of death had been confirmed. The other yes. thing, Marcia Williams, this month has been great because Roland, what she has done, she has helped get witnesses. You know, he, his car was out at the graveyard. That's where this Sergeant Calkins called it in, mm -hmm. where... We were able to find people, and I can't give away too much. I got you. Actually, saw him mm. independently of his testimony. So those people' testimony can go to the jury. And Carl, you kind of a little conservative, but as Tyler and I said, these white folks uh, in this rich retirement village of Naples, Florida, they understand your child being taken away from you, and you never get any answers. They can't even give them proper barriers because the bodies have never been found. You got to need a quick question, quick answer from Avis jones Dweeb. Avis? Sure, Mr. Crump. So, you know, we, we've sort of established, obviously, he's been running all this time, and it's a high likelihood that he's not going to want to really relay anything very substantive. Is there anything that you can do to ensure to the families that when, whatever he says in that deposition, that at least that you will continue to push for the truth? Because I'm sure that you'll have to even dig even further than what he will specifically specifically say. Absolutely. I'm going to call people like Scott Bolden and we're going to have a million questions <laughs> for this one time that we get to sit this I'm guy down. To you too. And when we and we, we get to sit him down, uh, Scott and Roland, Avis, we're going to make sure that no question goes unasked. And regardless of his answer, we're going to supplement all the record with the evidence to put forward the notion of exactly what happened, put this puzzle together and solve this murder mystery. Ben Crump, first of all, we're going to give it up for Tyler also. He initially put up $100,000. He's now added another hundred, so there he has 200000 information leading to uh, uh, finding out what happened to these two men. And so we certainly appreciate it. Uh, give our best to uh, their families. Uh, Attorney Ben Crump, we appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Roland. So many black people are missing, and we have to come back and talk about that, Roland. Oh, no, absolutely. Well, that, and that's one of the reasons why I created Roland Martin Unfiltered, so we can have our own place uh, to share our stories. The reality is mainstream media ignores this. If you're a white woman, you come up missing. Uh, every single one of these networks will talk about it because, frankly, it's run by white executives. And when they see a white woman coming up missing, they mm -hmm. think about their mother, their daughter, their niece, or their cousin. But when it's black, Nobody gives a damn. And so that's why we have to have our own platform. So Ben Crump, we appreciate it. Thanks a bunch.